Welcome to AT Vision, powered by Quad Magazine. Moto Sode 6 brought to you by Moto Works. We're going to get in depth, up close, and personal with our Honda riders and teams competing in the 2009 AMA Pro ATV Motocross Championship. Honda has some big guns this year two time series champ Joe Bird, newcomers like Josh Upperman and Clay Holmes, and veterans like Harold the Bumblebee Goodman. Let's talk to Mark Baldwin, who spearheaded this effort. Baldwin Motorsports makes the Hondas run. It's one of the companies that's known for making the Honda work on the racetrack. How does that success and the success of Baldwin Motorsports add to this team and make Josh Upperman so fast? Uh, our success, you know, has been very good with the Hondas. Um, you know, we can get real good horsepower out of them. I'm continuously, you know, developing new products and testing. Back when Tim was riding, I mean, he, of course, was very, very picky. And he was always on me, hey, Mark, you got to try this, do this, do this. And, you know, I'm, I'll am i build anything. I don't care. You know, that's how you succeed. But we've tested so many things and tried different setups and we transferred that over to Josh's program and it just it works really well you know and since Tim's gone on and doing other things you know I've, I'm still testing a lot with Josh and of course he goes to Florida and trains and rides at home and at local tracks and we just keep on developing more and more products so. You separated from Honda for a while and went with a different company and then you came back to Honda. What brought you back? You know I've just got a lot of very loyal customers who of course ride red and I, I can appreciate that. The Honda quality is just really good. Honda makes a lot more of the units of each model than some of the other manufacturers do. So it just gives us more potential customers for a bigger customer base. Tell me a little bit about the team dynamic of American Honda Baldwin Motorsports. Basically at Baldwin Motorsports, um, I organize all the sponsors for Josh. Uh, Josh has a contract with American Honda and I organize all the outside sponsors and everyone to help the program. Of course, we have a lot of great help. We've got performance engineer products for the shocks, Fly, Dunlop, JB Racing. There's just a great group of people here who I've worked with for a lot of years, clear back when Tim was riding for me. It just it works really, really well. So I'm very happy with the year so far. We've had a couple great finishes and hopefully we'll continue to have some good success. Josh, you're, you're part of uh, Team American Honda Baldwin Motorsports. What brought you to the team and how did you get where you are today? Um, well, uh, it all started back in 2006 when I rode for Tim Farr, and uh, he asked me to ride for him, actually, and uh, it was with Mark Baldwin and Tim. <coughs> Tim, at the time, rode for Honda, and he was a, he had some back problems and was unable to ride, and I just uh, uh, stuck, stuck in there, and I ran Pro-Am, and I won two championships in 2006, and then I went Pro in 2007 and I stayed with Mark and uh, he's just been uh, my mechanic for the last three or four years something like that but uh, I actually I've always went to him uh, in the past and he's always uh, been my my guy that I've always went to it makes it easy he lives in Ohio too so I'm only about an hour and a half away from him so it was always easy to run up to his shop whenever something happened so Harold you've been with Honda for four years what brought you to Honda and how did you start your relationship with them well, um, you know, four years ago, I got the opportunity uh, through um, Tim Farr at the time to, um, you know, get with Honda and ride with them as uh, I'm part of the team. And, um, you know, we've always been real happy with the Honda stuff. We rode 250Rs, um, you know, back in the day when I was racing amateur classes and when I first moved up to pro. And um, when I got the opportunity to get back on a Honda, I was pretty excited about it. And it's worked out well so far. Hauser Racing is also a big part of your program. They add a lot. What does that dynamic do for your team and your success? Um, you know, Hauser's great. Um, they've, uh, you know, they really take care of me. Um, great with coming out with new innovative product. Um, when I want to make a change or something, they're right on top of it. And um, I think that's, uh, you know, been a big reason for my success the last couple of years. Who else is part of your team that adds to your success? Um, this year, um, we've uh, switched to Olin Shocks, and they've been great. Um, there's a big relationship between Olin's and Hauser, and um, I got on them. We did a lot of testing and everything. They're working out great. Uh, the Rage Motors are super fast, um, get real good starts, and you know that's that's been a major part of you know my success. And um, um, Hoosier Tires this year is pretty new for us, and. Um, you know, they've got a good product. It's neat because they're a race-specific company and, um, you know, they're looking to, you know, get more involved here at our, our races and, um, you know, just everybody that helps me out is awesome. Clay, you ride for Joe Bird Riding School on a Honda. What brought you to Honda? I guess the reliability of them and all the horsepower we can get out of them and they're just, they handle so well and, I don't know, just a real good bike and I'm real comfortable on them. 
You're having a great rookie season. Um, obviously, your bike has to be adding into that. It must be working for you pretty well. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way I've been doing this year. I expected to do good, but not. I don't think as well as I am doing. But So what brought you to Jailbird Riding School? We've been training and riding together for the past six years, and uh, then he finally, we just got a team together, and just it's just fun training with him, and he helps me out a lot. Joe, you've been on Hondas as long as you've rode. What brought you to Honda in the first place? Uh, just the reliability and the trustworthy of a Honda. I mean, you can't, uh, for the average guy to go out and buy a bike, you want, in order to finish first, you must first finish, and Honda has the best numbers in that, you know, in that department. When you put the team together, Honda came back and, and they supported you. Uh, what does Honda's support meant to the team and you personally? Well, without the manufacturer support, it's, it's hard to do. We were doing it for, shoot, 15, 16 years with all the aftermarket industry. And yeah, and it can be done. We did it for a long time. It's just with the factory involvement, there's a lot more money. It's a lot easier on the racers. You know, you get, you get plenty of equipment. Uh, you don't have to worry about a regular job. And, you know, it's just, uh, you can't hardly do it anymore, especially today without having factory involvement, factory help. It's, it, it'd be almost impossible to compete. Also, you have some riders riding for you for the Joe Bird Quad Riding School. Tell us a little bit about how that works and who helps you make it work. Most of the aftermarket industry usually takes care of that team. Uh, most, you know, with uh, all my, my shock sponsor, wheel sponsor, uh, engine sponsor, Nerf bar sponsor, and so on. You know, all, all the guys they help fund that program, and uh, it really works good. It helps me help the riders. You know, when I was coming through the, the ranks, I needed some some help, and and uh, that's where the you know the, all the guys that are on the team uh, have come to the my riding school one time or another, and you see that potential, and, and you help those guys out. You know, it uh, it makes it a lot easier for them, and it helps me kind of help keep some people on track, and. Uh, and now I've got Clay Holmes, he's in a pro class now with me, and he, I've followed him since his uh, C-class days, you know, when he started as a little kid, you know. And I've molded him to the professional that he is today, and he'll be a champion one day, you know, and hopefully he stays on red, and it's just uh, really good for us. Dan, you have quite an involvement in the Joe Bird Quad Riding School and their team. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, we've been doing development uh, with the Honda TRX 450 for a number of years. Uh, we've been doing a lot of the engine work solely for Joe, and uh, he's been proven uh, to be a multi-champion on the Honda. A lot of riders are turning to DASA engines with their Hondas. What have you been able to find through Honda and uh, possibly through Joe's support that has helped you in making the winning engines? Uh, he's an excellent test rider, and he's able to give me good feedback on what we need to do or develop for the bike. Uh, we've been changing exhaust pipes around to meet the new sound level. Uh, so, you know, the Honda is very competitive, plus being very environment friendly for the sound level that we're trying to reach nowadays. In the past, you've worked with quite a few different manufacturers, and this year you're back to just working on Hondas. Can you tell us why? Uh, we believe that the Honda has a greater following, uh, the support they give, the parts availability when there is any type of issue is seems to be, you know, very superior and uh, we just want to have the best product for all the Honda people that are riding out there. Great, thank you Dan. Well Bird is surging with that engine, he's within one point of Dustin Wimmer. The chase for the championship resumes this weekend, April 19th at Birch Creek Motorsports in Danville, Virginia. We'll cover it on AT Vision Power by Quad Wednesday night, April 22nd at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, this episode brought to you by MotorWorks. Thanks for joining us as you looked inside the Honda race teams. For Krista Watson and everybody here at AT Vision Powered by Quad, I'm Jason Wygant. Thanks for watching.